we have Kenya Pipeline uh, Corporation here, which has adopted this site. They started uh, the activities uh, last year. The total area they have adopted is uh, 100 hectares. So the planting of mangrove started last year. Um, last year, a total of one, one, 106,000 mangroves were planted. And uh, this time again, another target of 100,000 is, uh, is to be planted. So we are very happy. We also work with other stakeholders. Uh, remember, in, in conservation and management, we have to protect, we have to conserve, and therefore we also rely with other stakeholders like uh, friendly forces, and you can see KDF is here. Uh, you, we also have the Ministry of Interior that we cooperate with uh, very closely. So we are very grateful that uh, stakeholders cooperate with us uh, to manage these mangroves, to plant, to restore. As you can see, the area is very degraded. And uh, uh, it, I think by 2009, almost uh, half of this area was degraded. So we are happy that uh, since the realization that uh, we need to restore the mangroves, there has been concerted efforts by various stakeholders, the community. You can see here it is uh, the site for Kenya Pipeline Corporation. If you go somewhere else, you will find that we have Eden working there. You will also find another uh, site, maybe the county government has planted, and you will find another site, just the community has decided to raise the, co the seedlings and then plant. Uh, and we are very happy that uh, we are being assisted. Actually, mangroves are very important. Uh, it's a very important ecosystem. When you look at the mangroves, uh, uh, the, the, the corals in the ocean plus the seagrass rely on the mangrove ecosystem. So it is a very important uh, mangrove eco ecosystem. And as you can see, if you, if you sit around, you'll hear about the blue economy. People talking about uh, the blue economy as the next uh, frontier. So it is, uh, it is very critical in that blue economy because even it is uh, a breeding ground for fish, uh, the, the, if you remove this, in fact, the, the community normally testified that uh, when it was completely degraded, there was no fish that was reaching this site. So as it gets degraded, the livelihoods of the people are also affected. And uh, the mangroves are also important uh, to protect the shoreline. You know, it, it is protecting you from the heavy waves in case the waves uh, come in. So it is a very good protective barrier. And uh, it's also good for climate change eh? because uh, where we are standing, uh, we have uh, very heavy deposits of uh, carbon and the mangroves also uh, 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 hold a, a significant deposit of carbon. So uh, they are very good uh, in mitigating climate change and just depositing that carbon. Um, it is normally estimated that they are better at uh, holding the carbon, sequ sequestering carbon by five to ten times better than the terrestrial ecosystem. So you can imagine they are very good and they are very important. So they need to conserve them. Uh, as part of the KDF, uh, we support uh, the environmental soldier program where we incorporate with the communities and the other, other uh, cooperation to ensure that uh, we sustain the 10% uh, environmental cover that uh, was uh, directed by the president. And we have achieved that through various cooperation. For example, last year we planted 353 trees uh, in various uh, counties, Nyandarua, Kiambu, and other uh, areas. In fact, uh, uh, inside the barracks we have also planted trees, uh, fruits, and a lot of uh, seedlings. So uh, we are aligning with the presidential directive as a company to plant 100,000 trees per year. And we are calling on all partners, like 
anybody who is willing. We are, the world is in a crisis to restore its environment. So we are calling upon all partners, apart from government agencies, the communities, to participate. As we said, our focus per day is 20,000 trees. It's a lot of work. Communities here are really, I mean, they need to be celebrated for the work that they are doing. So the more we are, we need to move as a country together, including the school children, the government agencies and the private sector. So thank you. Okay. Uh, my name is Minaito Ali Mohamed, the chairperson of the Bidikri Conservancy CBO. It's a community-based organization working in the Jomfuku area working in the conservation sector of mangroves on this ecosystem. We've been on this ecosystem for at least eight years, since 2013. And we are very grateful working with Kenya Forest Services and Kenya Pipeline Company for supporting us in the restoration program. We have been volunteering in this forest for the past three, four, five years. But now we are appreciating the support we get from Kenya Forest and funders like Kenya Pipeline. Today we are targeting to plant at least 20,000 seedlings. The different species we are planting, we are planting three different species. Mainly the Rhizophorus macronata, which is dominant in this area, and Cereops tagal. And the other species is Brugeria gymnohiza. So we are very grateful for the partners, the volunteers we have been working with for supporting us on the restoration project.